Hey there, Internet. My spinny chair got broken somehow, so now it doesn't go up and down anymore, and that makes me very sadness. Unedited, life is. So today, I had an idea that maybe I was going to talk about that was a bit more on the serious side of things, but I decided I don't want to talk about that. So instead, I present to you six normal, everyday things that I'm absolutely terrible at. Number one, leaving voicemails for people. It is a well-established fact on this whole vloggity thing that I am just bad in general with the phone, but especially when it comes to calling someone and they don't answer, and then I have to like explain to them why I was calling them and like how they should get back to me, I'm just absolutely horrendous at it. Most of my voicemail messages go something like, hey, uh, this is Johnny, um, I was just calling for, you know, something, blah, 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 insert whatever reason right there, and I guess, um, just call me back, I don't really have anything else to say, um, okay, and then I hang up, and I don't even, like, remember to say goodbye or anything, and I feel like it's probably super awkward, and maybe I'm just awkward in general, that's my personality, I don't know, you be the judge. Number two, tying my shoes, something that the average six-year-old can do still takes me about twice as long as it takes any other person to do. It's not that I don't know how to tie my shoes, obviously I know how to do it, and I do it fairly often, it's just something about my fingers, I don't know if they're, like, too fat and chubby and I can't grip the strings, or my brain is just doesn't understand how knots work. I don't know, but I like go down to tie my shoe. It's like it takes like five minutes. It probably doesn't take that long, but it always feels that long, which is why I just leave the things tied and then when I want to put them on, I just, you know, stick my little old feetsies in and I'm good to go. Third thing, observing things. And this one takes a little bit of clarification because I don't mean that I don't see things, but what I mean by this is if I'm talking to someone and they say, hey, look over there, do you see that thing? And they're like pointing to a specific object. I will turn and look in the general direction that they're pointing and almost every time I won't be able to see it. I don't know why this is, it's almost like the act of them pointing puts like a little blinder over my eyes so that I don't see that object, but then like 10 minutes later I'll look over there and I'll be like, oh yeah, there's that thing, but for some reason when the person is like pointing it out, I can't see it. I don't know, it's like a disconnect mental brain hole issue thing that I have. Four, blowing my nose. Don't want to go into too much detail on this one because it's kind of nasty, but for some reason I grab a tissue, I place it here around my schnozzle region, I blow like so, except way harder, obviously, because I'm actually blowing my nose, and then invariably, I rip straight through the tissue. And obviously, you can see why this is kind of an issue, because tissues are there to collect the things going out of your nostril-ish area, and if you rip through the tissue, then it just ends up all over your hands. So pretty much every time I blow my nose, I end up having to wash my hands afterwards, which I'm pretty sure is not a problem that most people have. Fifth thing, sleeping. Obviously, I like it as much as the next person, but for some reason, I get in my bed right over there, I lie down, and instantly, I'm not tired anymore. Especially when I was a kid, I would just lay awake in bed for literally like an hour before I ever fell asleep. And it wasn't that I wasn't tired, because sometimes I was tired, I just, my body doesn't like it. I think it's the fact that like I can't get my brain to shut off, it's constantly like making up stories and like viewing hypothetical situations, and sometimes doing calculus because my brain does things like that. But yeah, sleeping is a real challenge. Sixth, and finally, using straws. Now the actual act of drinking out of a straw, I'm pretty good at, although sometimes I do this weird thing where like I drink super hard and then I move my mouth away and it like squirts out the top. I don't know if you've ever had that happen, but it's like a weird continuous suction vacuumy thing. So that happens sometimes, but the real issue I want to address is the fact that I can never find the stinking straw when it's in my cup. I don't know how it happens, but always the straw, if this is like the cup, the straw ends up leaning away from me. So like I go to get a drink and I do like the weird like thing and I can't find the stinking straw and so I have to like look down and grab my hand and move it over and then I can actually drink out of the straw and I realized that my hand motions may have been out of the frame like down here ish area so I don't know if you saw any of that but I don't really care. Apparently I may be just as bad at making these videos as I am at all of those other things. So before I make any other awkward mistakes I think I'm just gonna wrap up this video so let me know down in the comment section what's like a normal everyday thing you struggle with most people wouldn't consider it a challenge but you just can't figure it out so yeah let me know that down there. And until next week, deuces. Mm -hmm.